Well, we all know that the coronavirus pandemic has been especially hard on the restaurant industry. Over the past five decades, Anthony's Seafood Restaurants have seen tough times before, but nothing like this ever before. This week, I talked with the company CEO to see what they're doing to stay afloat. Anthony's has 22 locations, but you've probably never been to this one. It's the company's warehouse on the Magnolia Bridge in Seattle. Yeah, every day we've done this, it's been really strong. People are loving it. We're getting a lot of people that are coming back. Tim Furlaman has worked for Anthony's for 40 years. He's the head buyer. And for the past two weeks, he's been selling what they normally serve in the restaurants off this loading dock at a discount. This hook and line caught fish out of southeast Alaska. These are silver salmon or coho. This is a this is a, a ground chuck and Kobe American Kobe beef blend. They're called weather vane scallops, and they're frozen right on the boat. So the guys bring the scallops up, shuck them, freeze them right on the vessel. They're really fresher than fresh. This is the one bright spot for this family-owned restaurant chain as it faces its biggest challenge ever. So we've had to furlough uh, uh, most of our our people and. I'm hoping to get him back. Yeah. It's been a total disaster in, in our industry. Herb Gould is Anthony's CEO. We're, we're doing we're doing everything in our power to keep the ship afloat. So when when the thing turns back around, we have a place for all our team members to come back to. Herb says keeping the company afloat has meant a lot of phone calls. There's no money coming in. Uh, or very little and you know we, we still have obligations out there so strategizing how to meet those obligations and you know we've we've had a lot of phone calls with a lot of you know purveyors and landlords and 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 all that so I mean that's been really challenging but he says the hardest part of all this are the furloughs about 1400 team members right now we had to go through and we, we had to furlough quite quite a large number of those and that was that was really rough that was one of the worst days of my working career but have you been talking with your dad through this whole thing <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> hourly <laughs> uh no not hourly but to go through this i mean he keeps bringing up the stories of you know when he first started when they you know last one out of seattle turn off the lights i mean mm -hmm. he's, he's bringing this experience back to that. Well, Herb, I appreciate you taking some time to talk with us. And, and uh, you know, we, we're keeping our fingers crossed that this thing will end sooner than later. But uh, hang in there. And uh, I bought a box of seafood that's going to last me for a while today. So uh, keep up the good work and keep us posted how you're doing, okay? Well, hey, thanks. And, and everybody, stay safe. We, we look forward to seeing you on the other side. And, and man, this can't get over fast enough. So Herb's dad founded the company, Herb's dad Bud founded the company about 50 years ago. He is still the chairman of the board. But the big difference between surviving things like that recession in the early 70s and today is back then customers could still walk into restaurants. Today, they can't walk into the restaurant. So this is a much worse scenario. And by the way, the Seafood Warehouse is open weekdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the Magnolia Bridge. So best of luck to all the restaurant owners and workers out there.